For this video, we begin on James Island, one of the many islands off the coast of South Carolina. We then crossed over Charleston Harbor into downtown Charleston. It was a bright and sunny day with highs in the mid 60s, which is fairly typical for a midwinter day in this part of the country. It was Monday, February 3rd, 2020, at about noon. Charleston's a very historic city. Founded in 1670 as a port city, it's defined by cute cobblestone streets, horse-drawn carriages, antebellum homes, and upscale shopping. It's been voted America's number one small city for nine years in a row. You'll see why. In this video, we'll take a drive along the Waterfront Battery District, drive through some beautiful historic neighborhoods, and then cruise down King Street, Charleston's world-famous retail and dining destination. We'll begin in the Battery District, right along Charleston's picturesque harbor. Now back in the Civil War days, where these homes now stand, there was a defensive seawall where Confederate armies fought off attacks from Union Navy ships. This was a very strategic port after all, allowing supplies to enter the south from the Atlantic Ocean. Now these homes that line the first row along the south end of Charleston sell for anywhere between two and five million dollars. Charleston's population is only 136,000 people, making it the most populated city in the state. Columbia, the state's capital, has about 129,000 people. Charleston's growing just about as fast as it can. Because the city's located on a narrow peninsula, there's not much room for growth. That's why it's notoriously so expensive to buy a home here. Off in the distance is the famous Fort Sumter, which was originally controlled by the Union. The Confederate Army eventually took Fort Sumter away from Union control and controlled it itself for most of the Civil War. Now we're going to take a tour of some historic homes, which lie in the south end of Charleston. We're going to drive through two neighborhoods on Charleston South End, the French Quarter and Harleston Village. These historic districts are considered the most romantic sections of Charleston. As you can see, there's a large French influence in these homes, which cost about two million bucks. Many of these homes were built in the 1700s, but a lot of the homes have been rebuilt as late as the 1980s. Mixed in with some historic homes are churches, art galleries, museums, and restaurants.
This is Waterfront Park on Charleston's eastern shoreline. Now we're going to jump up to central Charleston and take a cruise down King Street. As the brochures say, nothing quite defines southern charm like King Street. This avenue is more than 300 years old and was named for King Charles II of England. In fact, Charleston itself was originally called Charlestown. Now, back during the Civil War, this street, along with much of Charleston, was devastated. But then during the 50s, the whole city of Charleston went through an urban revitalization. Important areas of the city, like King Street, were completely renovated. King Street has some of Charleston's trendiest restaurants and sophisticated cocktail scenes, as well as hotels, art galleries, high-end shopping, and a lively nightlife. Not too long ago, King Street was given the distinction as one of the top 10 shopping streets in the United States.
Okay, so that's part of downtown Charleston. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Hey guys, if you learned something new or you just like this video, make sure to like it. And if you really like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get all of our videos about what it's like to live in different places in America. Peace.